Hello everyone and welcome back again to our channel. I want to thank you so very much for coming to visit with us today. And as you can tell, I'm sitting back out on my porch again today. It's kind of a cloudy day. Um, I had originally planned to take the dogs for a walk over to the city park and videotape that, but it's kind of cloudy. It looks like it might be going to rain, so I had to cancel that. But it was time to do an upload, and so I thought maybe today's upload, I would do another segment on the baby boomers. So that's what I'm going to talk with you about today. So stick around and see what kind of things baby boomers want to talk about. Hi, and welcome back. And in this episode of Baby Boomers, I want to talk about cars. In particular, this car right here. For those of you who may have uh, watched the movie uh, Lampoon's Vacation, you'll recognize this car. This one right here. And the car that I'm speaking of specifically is a station wagon. Now, I don't even know if they still make station wagons today. I don't think they do. I think the SUV and the Broncos and the Blazers and the Explorers kind of replaced the Suburbans and stuff like that kind of replaced the, the uh, collars a little messed up. I'm sitting out here. I'm not even dressed. I'm in my nightgown sitting on my porch, but um, they, they're pretty much obsolete finding them anymore. The station wagon was pretty much a staple if you had a family back in the 50s and 60s and probably even the 70s. Um, that This was a time during when they didn't have the seat belt restriction and you didn't have to have children in a car seat. My family always had a station wagon when we traveled because it was my mom and my dad and all of us kids. There was plenty of room for my mom and dad in the front holding a baby and then kids in the back seat. And then there was the area, the cargo area in the back, which is now on those cars, a trunk. Us kids used to lay back there with a blanket and coloring books and crayons and puzzles and stuff. We took long road trips. That was what we did because you didn't have to worry about the cops pulling you over because your kids weren't in the proper restraints. I also feel like cars back in those days were made better. Um, the cars nowadays are fiberglass, plastic. If they've got a bumper at all, the bumper's fiberglass or plastic. But back in the days of the baby boomers' cars, they were the bumpers were made of chrome. And the car was made of steel. I mean, they were heavy-duty cars. Uh, you could get in a wreck and you, you pretty much were, were safe because you were surrounded by a box of steel. Nowadays, it doesn't take much to total out a car that's made of plastic and fiberglass. So I, I also remember, too, that the cars back then were more simplistic as far as repairing. Uh, you had what people called uh, shade tree mechanics, where you could hoist the chain in a tree and pull the motor up out of the car and work on it and fix it and drop it back in and be ready to go. Nowadays, cars have all the extra stuff on them, uh, the heated seats, the air conditioning, the power windows, the power seats. The SUVs have the um, DVDs in the back seats and all the extra stuff that takes so much more. And they're computerized. You know, they have that com computer on board that tells you what's wrong with it. That you can't just take your car, your own car, and work on it. You have to pretty much take it to a mechanic that specializes in fixing cars to get them taken care of. They cost quite a bit more. And there are a lot more to maintain. And I remember when I was growing up, my very first boyfriend, he drove a Corvair. 
It was a small little car. Um, they weren't very popular. They didn't last very long. Um, he had the Corvair. I didn't even have a driver's license at that time. Didn't know how to drive. So I depended on my boyfriend to take me around and he drove me around in the Corvair. But the car that I remember the most being the most popular back in those days was the 50 models, uh, Chevrolets. 55, 56, 57 Chevrolets, those were the best cars. Most popular, strong, valued car, um, good sturdy running car. Now you didn't have a lot of the option, like I said, as far as the, the air conditioning and the power windows and stuff, you had the crank down windows. And uh, do you remember whenever you had the little button on the floorboard when you were uh, dimming your light on your car, you would step on that little button. That's how you dimmed your headlights. Now it's usually on the the uh, the thing on the column, you know, your turn signal. There's, that's where your light dimmer is. It was good old days. I remember those cars and I cherish those cars. Um, people still do have those cars around. In fact, there are even people that have restored and updated with um, hot rodding teenagers out here hot rodding around in their car when I'm trying to talk about cars. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's people that have restored the older cars like Model T's and uh, it, I don't think they do them anymore now because of the pandemic. But there used to be a bunch of car clubs that would have auto shows in the park where people could bring their restored cars and park them and raise the hoods and you could look inside of them and you could see the interior where they had did the upholstery all fancy with diamond tuck seatings and all the chrome underneath in the motor and everything. Haven't seen any in the last few years and I think it is because of the pandemic. But I love old cars, and even to this day, when I see an old car going down the road, it brings a smile to my face. Makes me remember the good old days when life was simple and people could travel in their cars. And, you know, if you had a radio in there, you'd listen to your tunes and driving down the road and stop underneath a tree and have a picnic. It was a slower paced time. Cars were part of it. The younger generation usually uh, saved up their money and bought their first car. I remember um, my uh, first husband said he paid $50 for his first car. And it was basically just the, sh the body, the shell of the car. It was a, a 55 Chevy. And he built the motor and put it in it and restored it and everything. That was his first car. That's the car that we went on our dates in. Yes, it does my heart good to think of the old cars and to remember the station wagon that my mom and dad took us traveling across the state on vacation. Those were the good old days. So thank you guys for coming and reminiscing with me today talking about cars and baby boomers and y'all be sure come back and see us again y'all come back any old time thumbs up and we'll see you in the next baby boomers video